Notice that most definitely like counts more than one of the same thing when we're building the set, right? But a set only has one of each element, so it doesn't matter that we're counting more of each thing, right? There's only one of them in there. So I wanna introduce some notation here. So this is equal to F uh, slash tilde. So often when you're like, when you got an equivalence relation, and you're looking at the set of equivalence classes, you often write out like this, and you read that as F mod tilde for what it's worth. So this is equal to the rational numbers, right? And so note what? So note that the equivalence class of, for instance, two thirds is equal to two over three, right? Because this equivalence class is equal to the equivalence class of four-sixths, right? But two-thirds is just straight up equal to four-sixths. Now, of course, like there's more work to do here, right? We kind of like to talk about how we would add some things here and talk about how we would multiply some things here. But all of that is like pretty straightforward. Um, and that is like getting out of the realm of this just being sets, right? But let's say we were to like for, for the sake of interest, how would we add these? It's actually, you know, if you like want, if you want like a keyword here, if you wanted to look it up, right? This is the way to get the field of fractions. Field of fractions. So you can start with like any integral domain, whatever that is. You can start with any ring. You can start with any sort of like nice object that has addition and multiplication, but perhaps doesn't have inverses. Like the integers don't have multiplicative inverses, right? Because a half is not an integer. We would agree that to that, right? Um, and then you can form this field of fractions exactly like this. There's like a little bit of a rule here where you take the denominator. The denominator can't just be like non-zero. The denominator can also not be a zero divisor, whatever that means. 